Well, the scale after it settled, yep. when the truck settled, we went from about 800 pounds to 1,000, which That's means we got 1,000 pounds. Too much. Too much. We should be weight. closer to 700. Yep. So what we're going to do tie everything up. We're going to take that water towed in there, tie a chain to it, and we're going to pull it backwards. You going to MacGyver this? Way. We're going to do the MacGyver handbook <laughs> and pull it backwards. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's do it because redneck a thousand, style. All right, 1,000 pounds is too much tongue weight. Yeah. I mean, we that thing is really squatting. You can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we don't want to overweigh the back end. Yep. Which it is right now. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do next. All right. Cool. There's a lot of work that happens before we ever run a truck up the Ike Gauntlet, and first and foremost, that means safe towing. And in this case, that means getting the right tongue weight. If there's too much tongue weight, the truck squats, the headlights blind oncoming drivers, and of course the front end gets very light, making it much more difficult to brake and to control the vehicle and the trailer. So what we're doing, folks, is we're going to be dragging that water. How much does that weigh? Yeah, about 23, a little over 2,300 pounds. 2,300 pounds, we're going to drag it so we get better balance in the trailer, better weight distribution. So I'm going to hook it up to the GMC and drag it forward. But we're going to need uh, a, a hitch. hitch. Yeah. yeah. Hitch. Because you, the chain doesn't quite like fit that. in here. We have this on, on the hitch. In this case, using the built in scale in our hitch, we knew that we had way too much tongue weight. The water in the trailer was just too far forward, so we had a MacGyver figure out a way to get it farther back over the axles on the trailer. the weight distributing hitch to that navigator. So we need to take that hitch off and we'll need that hitch. We'll get this one okay. Looks like we're close to 800 pounds tongue weight. So we're just a hair over 10%. But this hitch from WaySafe is so nice that you can actually determine what you're doing. If you're over over tongue weight, then you're going to put too much weight on the vehicle. It's hard on the bearings, hard on the brakes. Too little weight, you've got sway issues. If you got too much weight, probably loaded to the back of the trailer. This is this is great. Now we know what we're doing. Well, good. We don't have to do this for the other ones. You know, we know we got 700 pound tongue way. One last thing. Yep. I love this electric jack. You ready? ready? Yeah, a couple inches forward. Two inches. Whoa! Whoa! Now we're not very straight, Ken, so... Um, well, okay, tight, straight... tighten up a bunch hand tight, okay. and then we'll straighten it out. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Now the MacGyver handle. Ugh. I'm not supposed to get dirty. What is this? Okay, yeah, straighten around. Set everything up. We've got weight distributing hitch on like we're supposed to. We actually weighed the tongue weight with the weight safe hitch and got our 10% tongue weight. Now, tongue weight on a vehicle like this, uh, you, your part of your, your tongue weight goes toward payload. 
So your payload, your people, your everything you put in the vehicle, but that's also your tongue weight. So you can't use up all of your payload in tongue weight or you won't have any room for passenger weight. You gotta remember that when you're properly loading your trailer.